Somebody dropped this thing on my porch. Let's figure out what it is. It's got my name on it. Oh, it's another box. Oh, just what I need. More cardboard. Ugh. Pull it out of the box here. Yeah, there we go. What the heck? It says. Oh, oh, that's heavy. It says Chet Riser Block Kit for JWBS 14 series band size. Do I have a? Well, dang it, I guess I do have a band saw. Hmm. Well, how long that's been sitting there? Well, this guy was made in 2000. Huh. I'll be darned. So it's 20 years ago. Got some rust on the surface here. No saw. No saw installed. It's a little loose. I suppose that's supposed to be like that. Still plugged in. Oh yeah. Motor starts. But yeah, I think this is the one that we'll use. We'll put the... Uh, um, riser block in there and the kit and see if we can get it running. I'd like to do some resawing, uh, maybe some small logs, maybe some wood, some wood for the, you know, projects for the CNC machine. We'll see what happens. So let's see if we can get the dust blown off this thing first and then we'll dig into it. I'm going to let the dust settle. Styrofoam. Instructions. There you go. Well, that's a heck of a bolt. This is the new extended uh, blade guard. It comes with a blade for the uh, new length of uh, new size, which is kind of nice. I'm sure it's a cheap one. We'll start with that. Oh, here's the heavy part. Oh, right there. There's the riser lock. Oh. Up, so we don't get it wrong. And it's got the little locating doohickeys on there and the holes on the bottom, you know. That's kind of twang with the idea of trying to 3D print one of these. And uh, it probably would have worked, but it wouldn't have been as heavy as this bugger. My goodness, that is oh, heavy. Is there anything else? Oh, but wait, there is. This is the uh, rear uh, chain, the rear um, saw uh, guard that goes on the back of the machine. Longer than the original here. It's actually metal. And is there anything else? Oh, there is. We gotta have this guy. Oh, punch myself in the chest with it. That hurts. This long pice post for the guide head, longer than uh, longer than the old one. There, it's got to be longer because we got another six inches in there, and nothing left but the styrofoam and the crying. So let's get this out of the way and let's take a quick peek at the instructions. Uh, more boxes to get rid of. Ooh, a seal for your safety and protection. Installation instructions. We have some hardware. There's some hardware on there. The rest of the hardware, I think, just comes off of the machine. Oh, we'll go through and follow this step by step. You know, I, I know what real men... Real men don't follow the manuals, but... Uh, Hell, if I'm going to pay for it, I'm going to enjoy the manual, too. And uh, while it's thick enough to be a, another page in there, apparently it's just a front and a back. So let's head back out there and uh, make some changes. Let's go ahead and uh, start the uh, instructions here. 
Well, of course, the first thing to do is unplug and remove the old blade. Fortunately, my old blade was already gone, so <laughs> saved a little time there. Then we need to remove the power switch, uh, starting with the wire clamp just below, and then uh, unscrew the three screws that are holding it down, two on top and the one just barely seen under the lip of the power switch. We'll take the rear blade guard off the old plastic one. It sits on a couple of studs back there with screws and, and funny shaped washers. Be sure to keep the mounting hardware for reassembly. And now it's time to loosen the uh, nut that holds on the top arm and then while balancing that top arm uh, it'll become very unstable once the bolt is removed. Slip that bolt out and lift the top arm off and set it down someplace safe like on a table. You might want some assistance during that step. So there's the black, there's the indicating holes on the bottom, here's the upside, this goes to the rear of the machine. Supposedly, I guess when they mean rear, <coughs> they mean away from the side doors. Place the razor block and make sure that it's well seated into the alignment pins. <laughs> Come on. And now it's time for the easy part. Just balancing that upper arm on the block in position while threading that longer bolt down through the hole on the bottom and getting the washer and nut on the end of the bolt all without dropping the the upper arm. Uh, it might be helpful to tape the bolt into the upper arm in place and lower the whole bolt and upper arm assembly through the block so that uh, with one hand you can place the washer and the nut without the top of the bolt spinning on you. Or better off <laughs> Maybe you better phone a friend. Yeah, it's not working too good. And be sure to tighten down that long bolt nice and snug so nothing wiggles or moves up on top and everything stays aligned nicely. Standoffs in both spots. Now you can install the new longer rear blade guard reusing the old washers and screws that you took out initially. It fits perfectly. Reattach the power switch using the two holes in the riser block. Uh, there was no location to insert the third screw uh, that I originally took out or to reattach the cable clip. Loosen the two bolts on the guide head that hold the upper blade guard on. Uh, you don't have to take them all the way out, just loosen them and the blade guard will slide off to the left. Loosen but do not remove the set screw that provides resistance to the bar when moving the guide head. But don't let the guide bar fall out. So here's the replacement bar. There's a screw on the bottom here it looks like. Screw hole for the, uh, for the connection to the head. The V is in the back. Use the new bar to actually push the old bar out so that we don't have any space to lose the ball in the spring that's holding tension on uh, underneath the set screw. And now the simple step of just moving the guide head over to the new riser post and uh, just one bolt uh, that you have to loosen and tighten. And just slip the new front blade guard 
over the two bolts and tighten them down. Now it's just a matter of installing the blade and setting up the blade guides. There's lots of videos on YouTube on the proper ways to do these things. And so I'm not going to cover them here. You should be good to go. Thanks for watching. Join me for the next upgrade. Maybe I'll put on a fancier uh, guide thing with all bearings, but I don't know. Some people say that these are just fine. So we'll see how it behaves. We'll set up some sleds and see what we can do. Thanks for watching. But wait, don't go yet. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can see future episodes from this channel. And if you'd like to help out and support this channel, uh, go to patreon.com slash coding for as little as a dollar a month. We really appreciate it. Thanks. See you soon.